Early education, especially the years of preschool before a child has attended kindergarten, are often the most important years of their lives. Hi, I'm Jackson Garrett. I'm Jay Swin. And I'm Chandler Lasseter with Sports, and I'd like to welcome you to this weekly edition of WGLH-TV. More and more evidence is showing just how important early childhood education is to the development of any student. Gehanna Jefferson schools have recognized this and have established their very own successful preschool program. Before, it was housed at the different elementary schools across the district. Now it is located at Clark Hall. Now all the classes are in one place. This will make it easier for the preschool teachers to collaborate together. It also shall create a better learning environment for the younger students that will be kept all together. Before, the YMCA used this space for a special satellite program. The program was not as success successful as the YMCA intended, but they gladly gave the space back to the school district. Ben Steeman visits the preschool program and talks to the district personal about how things are going. Some of the most important and formative years of a child's life take place during the preschool years. Having a strong preschool environment is very important for a child, and the brand new preschool located at Clark Hall has created a great learning space for children. This newly renovated space is the first of its kind here at Kahana, offering children many new opportunities for learning. I talked to one of the teachers at the preschool and asked her what makes this new school different from past preschools. The nice thing about this year with this being our first year at Clark Hall is that everybody's together. So previously we were split up between, originally we were broken up between three different elementary buildings with two preschool classrooms in each building. Then we moved and combined four classes all together at one building and had two separately. And so this is our first year having all seven classrooms housed within the same building. Um, it's been a huge benefit for the program, for the kids, for the staff. I think we have a really positive preschool community and culture here. Um, it's very preschool friendly, um, age appropriate. So there's lots of things just within the environment that are very um, suited towards the preschool kids and so we can really tailor everything towards our population of students. Moving all of the students into the same preschool environment streamlines the education process for the administration and teachers while giving the students a better place to learn and grow. One of the benefits of having a space fully devoted to preschool students is the ability to create tailor-made classrooms, playgrounds, and free spaces to meet the students needs. Ms. Irwin explained what a typical day for these preschoolers is like. We sit down for a whole group lesson at circle time, go over the daily schedule, the expectations for the day, and what their activities will be. Um, in my classroom, then we go out to the playground, so we take a little gross motor break, get some of that movement out, and then we come back in and do small group centers. Early education is essential for giving children a great start, and the preschool at Clark Hall is giving preschoolers everything they need to grow and thrive. This has been Ben Steeman for WGLH-TV. A class in the music department that really helps students who are serious about music is the music theory class. Most of these students are thinking about a career in music performance or music education. Jace Wen takes a closer look. Music theory is a small class of talented musicians here at Gehanna Lincoln High School. Consisting of about 13 students, this class has orchestral performers, band performers, and vocalists. Led by Rob Sebriak, head director of the bands, this group of students explores advanced music concepts. These students learn how to use curfew hand signs and solfege syllables to explore the concept of sight singing. After looking at music for a short period of time, they can read the music out loud. Vocalist and percussionist Tyler Osborne puts his skills to work in this video.
students also learn a skill called dictation, where they apply their music knowledge and skills to write down a piece of music that they hear. I had the chance to talk to Andrew Harris, an instrumentalist who uses all of the skills that he learns in this class. Um, well, like the best thing about this class is that it's taught me a lot about uh, scales and just the, how to play in general. And I've been working on that for my solos and incorporating them when I'm playing. Vocalist Siri Nelson explains why she enjoys the class. Yeah, music theory is a lot of fun. Um, it's a really cool class. Mr. C is really fun. We do a lot of sight reading and stuff, which is really cool, and it's helped me grow as a musician. If you're looking to become a better musician, music theory might be the class for you. This has been Jay Swin reporting for WGLH TV. A class that really challenges students and forces them to think of concepts differently is Honors English. Hannah Shirley talks to some students about why they made the choice to be a part of this program. Hannah Lincoln High School offers many opportunities for students to challenge themselves in their classes. Students in 10th grade may choose to take Honors English 10, which is taught by Mr. Wagner and Mrs. Rice. The first is, does it grab our attention? So it doesn't make us want... In previous years, students had to choose between taking Honors 10 Journalism or Literature and Composition. This year, they are merged together as one. Currently, the students are reading Truman Capote's In Cold Blood and analyzing how bias is shown in the writing and comparing that to bias in the media. Uh, what is it missing? The why, right? Um, so a reminder of... Even though there is no longer a separate journalism class, the students still learn about the aspects of journalism. The Honors English classes read a greater quantity of books and dramas at a faster rate than the regular English classes. Then we're going to look at the... Honors English 10 really helped me improve my writing skills and helped me prepare for the college English class I'm taking this year. The students work to make their literary analyses more concise and try to branch from the standard five-paragraph essay that they have done in previous classes. Occasionally, students will write more than one essay per piece of literature. And Mr. Wagner is one of my favorite teachers. He's really fun to be around. If you're looking to improve your writing and reading skills, then take Honors English 10. This has been Hannah Shirley for WGLH-TV. For students who are considering a career in communication, public relations, or broadcast journalism, there is the Advanced TV class. In this class, we produce the daily announcements, we produce a 30-minute TV show, and we participate in a number of community service activities, such as Honor Flight. Zach Paquette shows us what it is like behind the anchor desk here at WGLH TV. Two. The Advanced TV class here at the high school is a unique class designed to show students what it is like to work in the media world. After completing the Intro to TV course, students can elect to take the Advanced TV course where they're responsible for covering and putting together news stories that will air in the weekly show. Students are also responsible for anchoring both in the weekly shows and for the high school's morning announcements. With just a few more players at these fortunate meetings, Daniel Cromer would be able to use... A lot of these students take great pride in being in the class, and for some, it's considered their favorite class. TV is one of my favorite classes because I get to in do what I enjoy, and I get to make videos, and I get to go around and, and interview people, and um, I think media is super duper important nowadays, especially in, in today's day and age where everything's online and you get to see constant news and everyone's dependent on news and seeing videos and, and I think that's super duper important and you get to meet a lot of friends and, and it's a very community type situation where you're working with people constantly and I think that's super duper important to, to get out and get involved and, and to be able to work with people. This class, taught by Mr. Tom Gregory, has been producing quality videos for almost three decades. Mr. Gregory has been the face of the program and has seen it grow since almost the beginning. I have been teaching the advanced TV class for now over 30 years. It's amazing because we've been doing this you know, so long. We started you know, tape to tape editing. And it's interesting since I've been doing this long, the progress we've made. We changed editors. We're in the process of rechanging again and getting IMAX. Um, the class is, is really great for students that are wanting to go into this field because they're given the opportunities for some practical experiences and I'm doing it so long I have students in the field you know they're actually anchoring reporting running their own video production company 
working in public relations for professional football teams. If your passion is broadcast journalism or video production, consider taking the advanced TV course. For now, this has been Zach Paquette reporting for WGLH TV. A visual arts class that also gives students some practical learning opportunities is digital photography. Stephanie Sloan talks to some of the students about what they are working on right now. Here at Cahanna Lincoln High School, there are many different art classes available for students. One of the classes offered here is digital photography. This class is taught by Mrs. Tyran. In digital photography, they do things from taking pictures to photoshopping. I talked to one of the students in this class to get an idea on what it's like. The main thing that we do is we take photos, we edit them in Photoshop. Um, we're all just learning about the different tools in Photoshop and uh, we're just learning um, everything that has to do with photos, like editing, making something that's not there and making it appear, appear like it's natural in the photo. Um, any artist should take this class. Anyone can take it just to expand their knowledge, but specifically artists because it's another art form and you'll just become more versatile as an artist. I really like the teacher because she knows like exactly what she's doing and she's a really she's really good at teaching. Everybody kind of minds their own business, but when we are talking, communicating, everyone's nice and friendly and just like enjoys everybody else's art. Digital photography is a semester class offered here at Kahana Lincoln High School. This class teaches students how to take and edit their own pictures. It's a great opportunity for students who are interested in photography to learn more about it. Students who also love to Photoshop should take this class. Students in this class learn how to edit their pictures digitally. In this class there's a lot of hands-on work with the cameras and the computers. I talked to the teacher of digital photography to understand more about this class. Um, we work on basic photo, uh, photography techniques, Photoshop, uh, we talk about portraiture, still life photography, um, we touch on advertising and what it looks like to make an advertisement photograph and then we're living in a time where photography is more rampant than ever so learning how to take an important photo um, or edit it in a way that is um, exciting and new and interesting is something that's very accommodatable. So if you like photography or Photoshop, you should definitely take this class. This has been Stephanie Sloan reporting for WGLH TV. One teacher that works to make a difference here at Gehanna Lincoln is Chris Wagner. He works with the stage crew as well as many honors English students. Amelia Wenz talks to him about what he loves about teaching. Chris Wagner is one of the most involved teachers at Kahana Lincoln High School. Being the super involved teacher that he is at Kahana, Mr. Wagner is also the technical director for all the school shows, is advisor for the school's yearbook, and teaches honors journalism. My job as technical director for the theater department is to basically do anything that doesn't involve actors. So it's lights, sound, set, props, um, and then helping with costume and makeup as well. But my job within that role is to help design, but then also help the students to create that vision. I'm really proud of the fact that our productions are 100% student-led and designed and built. And that means a lot to me, so I kind of help coach them to make the best production they can. Being a Gehenna alum, Mr. Wagner advises the yearbook, which he took when he was in high school. My job as yearbook advisor is to help guide and coach the editors to produce the best book that they can. So that involves helping them with layout decisions, theme decisions, and then also helping them pace the book so that it's produced in a way that will be effective to get it published. Mr. Wagner works hard with his students to create a good relationship and make school and learning more fun. Uh, I'm actually really nervous about directing the show this year. I've I've watched a really good director by watching Mrs. M the last 10 or so years um, and then being under her for direction. But to do it on your own is kind of nerve-wracking, but I'm excited to get to work with the group of students that I got. So if you have a chance, come out to see Mr. Wagner's winter show. This has been Amelia Wenz reporting for WGLH TV. An organization here at the high school that pairs freshmen with upper class students is Link Crew. Link Crew understands that it is important for freshmen not to feel lost when they get to the high school. This program has really made a difference and Samantha Laws will show us how. Transitioning from middle school to high school can be a very stressful and scary period. 
Link Crew, made up of seniors, juniors, and sophomores, are there to make that transition a little bit easier. This year, two new advisors, Ms. Germany and Ms. Dinokovskin, were put in charge of the program. Link Crew is a wonderful opportunity for our upperclassmen to be a positive impact in our freshmen's lives. They help them make that transition from middle school to high school and make those connections to last hopefully throughout their high school career. Linko helps freshmen connect with other people in their class and get comfortable with all the people around them and just to the new setting of high school. They help me like get around the school and everywhere I needed to be. They made sure that I understood my routes and like my periods and stuff and they made sure I met my teachers. Linko put on the freshman welcome day and also participated in the freshman commit to graduate ceremony. In the future, the program plans to lead a retreat for freshmen to connect with other people in their class. My advice is to get involved from the start. Uh, it's hard to, uh, you don't want it to be too late by the end of high school. So get involved early, uh, make good decisions early, and always try your best. Linko helps build relationships throughout people's high school careers and set great examples for the people coming in below them. <laughs> Link Crew is a wonderful opportunity to help other students get involved. This has been Samantha Laws reporting for WGLH TV. The students in our special needs program learn new life skills every day. One way of doing this is by running the school's coffee shop, the main cup, each and every morning before school starts. Chandler Letzletter has the scoop. Every morning, many high school students line up outside the doors of the main cup for their morning coffee. Not only do they sell coffee, but they also sell hot chocolate, cold chocolate, iced coffee, and hot coffee. They sell three different flavors of coffee, vanilla, caramel, and chocolate. Most students' favorite flavor is caramel. The students in the ESS program run the main cup. They face many challenges in their lives, but running the main cup is something they look forward to every morning. To run the main cup, the students and teachers have to be at the high school by 6.45 a.m. Although it may be rough waking up so early, the students really enjoy selling the coffee and making it for others. The main cup teaches the kids how to work a job and show them what it's like for the future. I interviewed one of the students and asked her what her favorite thing to make was. She said it was putting ice in cups. She demonstrated how to do this in her response. Lots of students at Kahana Lincoln High School really enjoy their drinks and getting them every day. I got an interview of one student who enjoys it so much that she comes every day to get it. Um, I love how cheap it is. It's just a dollar compared to the um, one in the cafeteria. And also, it's a bigger size. And I don't know, I love the taste. <laughs> Everyone enjoys the main cup, even several teachers. I interviewed another girl from the program and asked her what her favorite thing about the main cup is. Doing the cash register and doing the milk. Everyone come get your main coffee at the main cup. This has been Chandler Lesson reporting live from WGLH TV. The hurricanes have had a huge impact on people's lives. Here at Gahanna, some groups are trying to make a difference. Casey Christman talks to these groups about their hurricane relief projects. Hurricane season has greatly affected many places in the United States and around the world this year. Gahanna students have used organizations and clubs as a way to help raise awareness and collect donations to help repair the cities that were affected. I talked to Alex Minsler, a member of entrepreneurship class, about why he decided to start selling bracelets as a way to collect donations. Um, well, I started it because uh, we were supposed to figure out pain points in the community and seeing that they were struggling so much down in uh, Houston and Florida with the hurricanes, we decided to make up a hurricane relief. Just in the past couple months, there have been over seven severe hurricanes that have touched ground. I also got to talk to Long Tran, a member of DECA, about how they use t-shirts they made as a way to contribute to those in need. In DECA, we made these shirts for the Pickerington Central game because it was a very big game. And then every year we do a big sale where we donate all our proceeds to some 
organization. This year we decided to donate to UNICEF for hurricane relief because lots of people are having trouble down there and we wanted to help out. We sold 110 shirts and we're going to donate about $800 to the cause. Other Gahanna groups, such as Key Club and SAT, have also spent their time coming up with ways to give to communities that lost their possessions. Thank you to everyone who contributed to the Gahanna Hurricane Bulls. With your help, we have collected over $2,500 to help benefit those in need. Money will go directly to UNICEF to help children coping with the aftermath of hurricanes. Hurricane season has affected many areas this year. Thankfully, there are many organizations coming together to help speed up the recovery. This has been Casey Crispin reporting for WGLH-TV. Creekside has a monthly program for pet owners called Paws in the Plaza. This is a time for dog owners to take their pets to go and meet other pets as well as other pet owners. Hattie Benedetti attended the most recent event. Welcome to Paws in the Plaza, Kahana's seasonal gathering of local dogs and vendors. Pet Business is gathered to provide treats and info for pet owners and their furry friends. Local animal lovers flock to Creekside in order to see many dogs and vendors. Vendors are allowed to attend during any month they choose, whether one month or every single event. The dogs enjoy socializing with their owners and other owners and their dogs. A variety of breeds of dogs interact with one another and different owners. Paws in the Plaza is held on the first Thursday of every month for April through October. Some dogs even like to try out new treats from local brands and companies such as this company, Pet Ones. Even young puppies get the chance to play with one another and make vital interaction. Veterinarian clinics and puppy play centers also market themselves to prospective customers. They have a chance to interact with one another and even make new doggy friends. <laughs> Brands send their representatives to market various products such as organic treats and aromatherapy. I talked with the creator of Paws in the Plaza about why she started this event. We started Paws in the Plaza nine years ago when the new Creekside development opened. We thought it would be a great way to showcase what people used to be. The big hole in the ground was now this beautiful development and we wanted a unique way for people to come by and just see what was all exciting and new. Many people from all over central Ohio come to Creekside for this monthly event. Oh my gosh, it is premier people watching and four-legged watching. I like to say there's all kinds of shapes and sizes and personalities, and then there's the dogs. <laughs> when next April rolls around, be sure to bring your dog and check out Paws in the Plaza. For now, this has been Hattie Benedetti reporting for WGLH-TV. A student who seems to be involved in many programs here at the school and in the community is Sabrina Brush. Cole Frazier introduces us to Sabrina, who is this week's Student Spotlight. Sabrina Brush is a senior here at Gahanna Lincoln High School. Sabrina Brush is involved with many things here at the high school. One of those things is the theater program. Recently, she's been cast in the fall play Noises Off. I talked to Jared White to see why everybody likes Sabrina Brush so much. Sabrina's a great person um, because she's, well, one, I think she's like one of the best performers. She's really good. I've seen her perform in Varsity Varieties, and, and I've never told this, and I, I probably won't when I see her, but... Um, I probably should because she really is truly a great um, actress and I think she could really be somebody and, and, and she's a hard worker and I know when she moves on in college and stuff she'll be one of those, those, um, those students who will stand out and I think her teachers or coaches, whoever um, works with her will know that she could be somebody in the future and you might know her name. I talked to Sabrina to see why she enjoys the theater program so much. I love theater because not only do I love to um, perform my craft or whatever, but I think it helps everyone with understanding both sides of a story. It influences the way we think and feel about our own lives. It teaches us um, to empathize with others, and I think that's really powerful. When I've seen a good play, I come out of the theater a different person than when I walked in. I've been challenged, I've thought about things in a new way, and overall I've just had an emotional experience. So if you get the chance, come out and see Sabrina Brush in the fall play Noises Off. This has been Cole Frazier reporting for WGLH-TV. Sabrina Brush has big plans for her future. Another group of students who has a big plan for their futures are our athletes. Speaking of athletes, do you have a sports report for us, Chandler? 
I sure do, but first, Maddie Myers explains about a new club sport started at Cahanna Lincoln High School, field hockey. Field hockey is a new club sport offered here at Cahanna. It was created last year by students interested in the sport. I talked to some members on the team and learned what field hockey is all about. I joined field hockey because a lot of my friends were joining and it seemed like a fun activity to do outside of school. The most about field hockey is spending time with my friends, getting to be outdoors, and experiencing something I wouldn't otherwise. I absolutely would recommend field hockey to others. Um, it's short, it's fun, it's a good time. So I originally joined field hockey because I needed a gym credit, and that ended up falling through. We can't uh, count as a gym credit, but it was honestly still so much fun, and I love everybody on the team. Um, our coach is super sweet. You get to work a lot with your team. So the way you hold the stick for like just your average shot is you put your left hand on, or your non-dominant hand I guess, at the very top and um, your other hand sort of halfway down and when you run up to it you want to bend at your knees um, and then hit it that way. Some of the things needed for field hockey are your cleats, shin guards, Goggles <laughs> and your hockey stick. Field hockey is a new club here at Kahana, trying to develop into a sport. So, ladies, come out and try field hockey. This has been Maddie Meyer reporting for WGLH TV. WBNS and WGLH did a special collaboration. Dominic Bush has the scoop. <laughs> Recently, some of our seasoned seniors here at WGLH-TV got to work with 10TV News on a story about our high school football game. This was one of the most storied rivalries in all of high school football, as it was Pick Central vs. Kahana. 10TV sent some of its best cameramen to get footage of this incredible rivalry, as well as reporters from our WGLH-TV News team would get video and edit it and send it back to 10TV before it went on the air. This certainly was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for our reporters. I asked Jared White, a member of the WGLH-TV team, what it was like to work with the professional news program. It was super exciting. It was really fun because it was something I've never done before. Um, but working in the TV group, I knew we would have a great team to, to produce something so good that could be on 10TV. So I'm very proud with the final um, product, and I think people really liked what we um, put out there. And it was cool because we got to go on the football field during the game, and, and I got to see a lot of my friends, but I was on the field, and I'm usually up in the stands, so it was something pretty cool. And, and it was cool because um, to work with fellow students that – do a great job with editing, getting video, doing voiceovers. I thought we just did an incredible job and it was super fun to do. The footage that our reporters got was put on local news and broadcasted across the entire city. Giving aspiring anchors and reporters the chance to be on a professional news station is really what this class has been trying to teach all along. This gives our seniors the chance to get a head start on the career they want. Our senior TV classmates getting to work with a professional news team really is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This has been Dominic Bush reporting for WGLH-TV. And in other sports, sadly, football lost against Reynoldsburg. But in more exciting news, girls volleyball beat Lancaster. And another sport that beat Lancaster was girls soccer and boys soccer. All winter sports are starting up this week, training with Amerson for their long season ahead of them. And that's a wrap for sports this week at Cahanna Lincoln High School. Thanks, Chandler. Not only is that a wrap for sports, but also for our show. Tune in next week for our fall homecoming special. Until then, this has been Jackson Gary, Jay Swin, and I'm Chandler Lapsitter saying quality is not an act, it is a habit. Stay classy, Hannah. Five, four, three, two, one.